Hello, welcome to LeafMap Tutorial 61. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a GF animation from uh, vector data. So let's go to the uh, LeafMap uh, website and uh, click Tutorials. Scroll down to find number 61. Uh, create an anim animated GF from a vector data set. And if you click the notebooks, upper right corner here uh, click the icon you should be able to download this one uh, to your computer then you can open using uh, Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook so uh, I'm going to show it goes through the example it's actually pretty simple and uh, straightforward there are only a couple of steps so this one was uh, inspired by the uh, shapefile to GF uh, essentially if you have a vector data set and then it has a column create uh, indicating the time uh, timestamp of the vector data that was created uh, then you can use div map just one function uh, to create uh, the animation uh, very easy and so uh, let me switch to the noble example here and um, it's only a couple lines of code so first let's import the library uh, div map so for here you can pass in the data on your local computer and i'm just going to use this sample data set um, on GitHub. So uh, by default, you can just pass in the URL to the add vector function, and this one will be uh, able to add the data and display it uh, on the interactive map. So I uh, just click. Add. Oh, I need to run this one. Um, so th this data set, I think, is only a couple uh, megabytes. So uh, it might take some time to download the data and then uh, display the data on the map. So now you have it. So it's a data set. Uh, of buildings um, in uh, uh, Boulder, Colorado. So you see it's a little bit lag because uh, the data set is uh, relatively large compared to uh, something that uh, iPad Leaf that uh, can handle. But if you hover your mouse uh, on the map, you should see low right corner here, there's an uh, um, uh, iPad widget that shows the, uh, the year. So basically the data set has a column uh, year underscore build indicating um, when the building uh, was built uh, in a specific year so if you have your mouse you see the number uh, changes you're also welcome to click the upper right corner here you can turn the layer on and off uh, so this allows you to uh, uh, toggle the layer on and off you can also change the uh, opacity uh, if you want so this is the data set that we have and uh, simple right only just one column uh, indicating the year and with that information, now we can uh, uh, create the animation. So you can actually see the, uh, the result in here. So it creates the animation. There's also a progress bar at the bottom here showing you by year. So from 1950 all the way to um, 2014, I believe. Uh, 2015. So uh, very uh, easy. So let me uncomment this one here and just to show you what uh, kind of things you need to provide. So you can provide the name of the output uh, GIF animation and also the column name. So where is the timestamp column uh, in the in the data set? And this is the title. So in the output GIF animation, uh, where do you want to um, where do you want to uh, output the data? Uh, where do you where do you want to put the title uh, on the map? So here shows you um, the Vector data, uh, the, the function that you use to create the animation. So you will see uh, you need to part, you can press your cursor within the function and then shift tab uh, to provide you the uh, help documentation. So all the function parameters and you can see the help documentation from here. So the first one is where do you want to output the file? So we specify here building doc.gf. Uh, doc and then the name of the column that contains the numerical values, basically the year and the minimum and the maximum. So sometimes you might have a data set that's pretty large and you only want a subset of the data. You can specify the minimum and the maximum here. So these two values are used to filter the data so that you don't have uh, too much data. And the step here is when you are filtering the data, how much you want, how the, each step you want to go. By default, it's one. So, for example, here the minimum is 1950. So every time when it's creating a new timestamp, uh, if it's by just one step, it will be 1951, 52, 53, right? So you are ending up with 
every year you're going to have one one image basically uh if you use stat 10 then it's going to be 1950 so any polygons they created um in 1950 or 1960 1970 so it's going to be less length so all the basically um depends on how many steps how many final images you have so uh, it's going to filter the data anything less than 1950 less than 1960 1970 uh, so on and so forth so the steps uh, is for you to control uh, how many um, basically temporal frequency you want to have and the face color is the color how you want to color um the uh, the buildings uh, by default it's black but you can change to other color if you want uh, fixed size right uh, width and height also the title is the text in here going to show at the end of the animation x y uh, this one is uh, basically the animatic label the year uh, so it's one one percent uh, one percent so x y basically uh, is going to at the lower left corner of the gif animation so uh, you can change this one to a different number if you want to put uh, the year label on the animation at a different location then you change this one and the phone size uh, progress bar color um, you can change the color by default uh, it's a blue color and also the height like five pixels uh, fps this one controls how fast is the animation so you can see um, uh, frames per second so 10 frames per second and then also the uh, whether or not you want also to generate uh, an mp4 if you want just change to two the verbals uh, shows you like for example, oops, uh, when I'm running the, um, the function, it's going to show you um, this is the when you say to verbals. Otherwise, it, it won't show you anything like this. So the verbals allows you to see the progress. And since we set uh, the step as 10, so you're going to end up with eight uh, images. So basically, it's eight frames. Uh, this uh, animation has eight frames. And... Uh, after you download all the images, it's going to combine them all together as a GF, right? So you see here, if you double click, you should be able to see uh, the, uh, the animation. And since we only have 10, let me open that in here. Right, it's pretty nice, but uh, because it's like too fast, you can slow down if you want, or you can change the uh, the step to make it a little bit denser so there is no like just a freaking a flickering uh, effect so i can change it for example to just one and you're welcome to change to also generate mp4 if you want right and so that this is going to take a whole lot longer uh, because you see here with generating 66 images it's going to take a while and once it's generated it's going to combine images because it has more frames so the file size will be a little bit larger compared to uh, the one we use 10 so uh, you need to keep that in mind and once it's done then <clears throat> you should be able to see the image just like uh, what's showing up here uh, on the um, the documentation website right so this is basically one year and you can see from the left side uh, to the right you will see the progress bar is progressing uh, by year and this looks not much better than the one we use 10 um, but uh, again it takes longer and the file size will be much larger but uh, the it looks much better uh, because it's much more smooth compared to use 10 so this is how you can generate uh, the the file and it's going to take some time so uh, you already see the preview in here so uh, I need to wait until it's finished so right now uh, it only supports uh, the vector data that's the column uh integer data but you're welcome to maybe try out uh, some of the data if it doesn't work let me know or submit an uh, issue on github um i will probably can expand this one to um like more general case that for example you can provide um any date year months and date for example or any time uh time stamp and then you still be able to actually do uh generate the animation but most of the vector data uh, is not going to change like by by day or by seconds so or by year usually it's a lot more like user cases but so that this can be customized it just takes a little bit more time to 
develop the function uh, so that it can be more generalized to any timestamp, not just year, it can be months, uh, it can be day, it can be minutes and seconds uh, if you want to. But let me know if you find a user case, I would be happy to uh, adopt the function and improve it so that you can use it for uh, other data set. And uh, you're also welcome to take a look at this one here, right? Give you more uh, details about the animation. So this is how we can create a GF animation from a vector data set uh, as long as you have a, uh, the data have a column indicating the time basically the year then you can use the function just using a couple lines of code you can generate a nice animation so under the hood is actually filtering the data and then create one frame one frame for each step okay so depends on how many steps you, ha you have it's going to generate a bunch of images and then with those Im images, it's going to put together as a GIF animation and based on how m many frames per second that you specify and also add a bunch of other stuff. So do a lot of like post-processing under the hood. But once you have that, uh, it's pretty nice. You see it's 66, I think it's generating. So um, it's going to take some time to merge all the images together and then uh, you should have the GIF animation uh, easily. I think it's done so let me show you the final results here uh, 16.5 megabytes so it's certainly uh, quite large uh, as an GF animation but you can see now it's a lot more smooth uh, because I'm step the step is like one year uh, for that so you can certainly see the changes like in Boulder Colorado starting from the uh, northwest corner and then expand it to uh, the south and also the east corner so quite striking um, but you can change it uh, you can use apply to any other location in the u.s or, or in the world as long as you have the data after that okay so that's all for this uh, video i hope you find it useful i will see you in the next one take care bye bye